Guess what? It's April and it's time for your tarot reading. I'm sorry I lost my voice. That's why they're a little bit late and that's also why it sounds like shit, but let's get started. Hi, Gemini. Welcome to April. We are going to look at, first and foremost, uh, how are things socially for you and emotionally in April? Then we're going to look at career, money, and your love life. So we're going to look at your love life if you're single, if you're coupled, and then if you're in an undefined relationship, which could be something polyamorous. It could be on again, off again. It could be that you just met somebody or you have like this crush. Um and you're talking, <laughs> so it's just like you can't really put a label on it, okay? Now, um, then at the end of that, we will do an affirmation card, but you should, if, if you're like, okay, I'm single, and so I don't wanna watch the couples and the undefined, you can go ahead and skip that, but you probably do wanna watch the affirmation piece at the end, because oftentimes it'll tie back to something in the beginning and give us more details or information. Maybe sometimes I pull more cards about certain aspects of the reading at that point in time. Um, I'm skipping the crystal of the month as well as the lucky days of the month just because um, you can tell my voice is a little bit messed up that's why the readings are late this month um, I had completely lost my voice so I want to preserve it so this doesn't happen again and therefore I will send that out in an email so if you're not on my email list um, it's a good idea to go to my website and sign up for it because I only send one email a month is not that big of a commitment you don't have to do anything um, but then you'll get that information should you want to read that. But the bigger benefit is that um, from the people on my list, I select one person every month to win a free 20-minute video reading. So, hey, awesome. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Gemini babies. What is up for April socially? And they, ooh, this is fantastic. So this is that kind of energy where it's like deep commitments and bonds. This is like blood brothers. For those of you who are over 30, you might know what that is. Otherwise, you could say hashtag besties or even soulmates popping into your life. So this is really great. They say it's important for you to shift your perspective and not get so um, stuck on details of things. You know, kind of looking at relationships and like your social life in broader strokes is advisable. They're saying like we don't get to choose what happens to us. This sounds very much like the Aquarius reading. Um, but we get to choose our reactions to them and like it seems like, for the most part, Geminis are going to be making really good social choices. Um, you'll be choosing to have fun. You'll be choosing to fully engage with people, to do active listening and sharing and, you know, creating bonds. This is really wonderful. Now, they say there are going to be some people, though, that you are going to bicker, argue with, um, have misunderstandings with. And so with those people, that's why it's like the details aren't important. Looking at things in broad strokes, focusing on the end goal. What is it that you both want out of this? And not necessarily demanding like how you get there, being a little bit flexible in that. Like um, a good example of how to not do this is I had a boss once. And so when you would bring a complaint or a concern to her, she would go, I hear what you're saying. And every time she did that, like and kind of put her hand in my face with her body language, I wanted to hit her. Like, and I'm not... A violent person but man that enraged me and so um, being kind of like conscious of things like that are important now um, it's not necessarily agreeing with other people but like actually hearing what they're saying that open body language even just repeating it back oh okay so my understanding is you think or you feel or I hear you saying and then whatever it is that they say because even if you don't agree even if you're still going to try to persuade them to be um, to do things the way that you want them to at least they feel validated right at least they feel heard and listened to and so that's the main point here focusing on the big picture but making sure you're an awesome like active listener this month is going to really help you grow and foster these like lifelong kind of relationships so good um emotionally what's up in april they're saying like th these relationships are actually super important and can make you feel really really good not in a codependent kind of way but um these relationships are for the highest good and like emotionally you're going to feel a lot of love and joy and happiness and connection from that so emotionally looks like a good month. As far as your career goes, they're saying make sure that like some of that 
joyful, like loving energy spills over there. Because this could be a turning point in your career where you really start to get a lot of the things that you've been hoping for, where like your happily ever after career wise comes, where like the end is in sight, you have clear cut goals, you can see that they're possible, that sort of thing. Maybe you finally achieve something you've been working on, but you really can't do that without the help of other people, which is why it's so important to really focus on those relationships and the way that we're communicating with other people. As far as your money goes, they say you are maybe not noticing that the universe is trying to give you money. Maybe it was cancer who also had this. Um, and it's like you're not, um, therefore you're not receiving it. Okay. So this might be um, people want to tip you, but they don't know that that's appropriate. Like they would be really willing to do that. So you just have to set a little tip jar out. If you're in a service industry, like if you are a um, hairstylist, for example, or a nail technician. Um, perhaps, you know, people say, hey, let me buy you lunch. And you're like, no, 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 that's okay. I got it. Mm -mm. This is the universe throwing you a bone, helping you to be more abundant. You just say, thank you. That's awesome. I appreciate it. What a kind and generous person you are, <laughs> you know? Um, they're like, you're not... You're, some of you just aren't, aren't even noticing, too, that some of the ways that you're doing things, if you just were to shift them a little, you could very much increase your income. Um, so, like, let's say, for example, you own your own business, okay? Oh, here's an example. Okay, let's say that you have a YouTube channel, right? You could have your videos be transcribed by somebody, like, in India for, like, $2, and then put into text form and you could create a blog from that. And then you could have like affiliate links on your blog and all of a sudden start having another income stream from not really any more work than you've already done. Things like that, like you're not really open to seeing these possibilities. Some of it has to do with abundance blocks. So um, I recommend this lady a lot. Christy Marie Sheldon has some videos on YouTube that you should look up that, um, can help you to release some of those. For example, a lot of people are like, they believe like money is the root of all evil. If you believe that and you think you're a good person, are you in alignment to receive more money? No. No. Because I don't want to believe I'm an evil person. So the more money I have, like the shittier I'm going to feel, therefore I can't really attract more of it. Right? Things like that are things you want to think about. Now, if you're a Gemini and you are single, they say, um, you know, like you don't have to be too much in your emotions this month and you really don't need anybody else around you. Like just hanging out with friends is fine. Um, like if love is not really your focus, that's completely okay. Because this month, it's like things don't just change overnight. Now, like remember I was talking about, oh, maybe like a soulmate's coming in. Well, that is possible for some of you, but um, for most of you, it's going to be like a new bestie. Um, they're like, if you want to just be like a little bit slutty as, you know, the stereotype, they say, oh, what Gemini's is. <laughs> but just take a bunch of lovers or whatever. That's fine. It's totally fine. You don't have to get that deep with it. They're like, you can handle this emotionally. Other signs can't sometimes. And so they're saying, you know, like, this is good for you emotionally, actually, in a lot of ways, because you get to learn how to be confident and to feel sexy in your own body in ways that maybe other people don't, you know? And so this is a good thing. Um, if that's the element that you're in, don't shame yourself. Don't feel bad about it. And, they, and then your spirit guides kind of make a little joke and they go, also, it's cheaper than dating. You never have to buy them dinner or birthday presents. <laughs> They're so silly. Um, if you're coupled, they're like, ooh, this is a month. Remember when we talked about that soulmate connection and bonding where you could be overflowing with love, joy, happiness, feeling completely satisfied within your relationship. They're saying like you really don't have to do anything different than you're already doing. There is nothing that you need to mend, change, anything. They're like, you know, even if your past wasn't super amazing, where you're headed now is pretty good. So don't change anything you're doing. They're like, just continue to be super honest and... um I mean, that's basically it. That's basically it. They're like, don't worry. There's nothing to worry about for you guys. Awesome. No news is good news. For those of you in undefined relationships, they say there's something here where like, because you can't see the way that things are going to turn out, you're, you're not feeling very amazing about it. And so, you know, for example, 
Um, maybe you're talking to someone and you can't really tell how they feel. Like you kind of feel like it's hopeless. Or maybe you are in a relationship with somebody who's married and they're like, yeah, I'm going to leave my partner for you. And like, you can't really see that that's in progress. And so you're like, man, that's kind of hopeless. But you know what? Um, they're saying, this is another example of the time that the universe is trying to give you something good and you can't see it because you're not really in that vibration of um, kind of joy, love, happiness, contentedness. And so this is why, like in these kind of situations, it's very similar to the singles relationships or part of the reading where it's like maybe keeping a little bit of distance is good so that you can focus on things that are good for you. Um, you know, and just like fostering your friendships and getting a lot of those things that we need emotionally from them and then waiting to see how things just kind of naturally transpire and how we open our heart and start to receive maybe the things that we're trying to manifest over there. Um, they're saying like, you know, for a lot of you in these undefined relationships, regardless of what your situation is, whether it's that, whether it's, you know, whatever, things aren't really fair all of the time. Um but that being, and you might feel kind of alone, like even if you are in a relationship, let's say that I um, am in a relationship with, I have two boyfriends, okay? I'm in a polyamorous relationship or three boyfriends, but I still might feel kind of alone despite that because I'm not feeling like I can deeply connect to any of them because I have to split my time, right? So they're like, this is maybe kind of how you're going to feel this month, but it's not advisable that you seek um, that kind of fulfillment or nourishment from whatever kind of people you're surrounding yourself with, whether it's on an off again relationship, any of those situations, it's better that you do that with friends or that you cultivate new friendships and get that nourishment there or through like, um, siblings or something like that. Intuitively, you know this, um, but you continue to focus right here on these relationships anyway. And it's, it's not, the best thing for you at least in April okay so looking at your affirmation says I close my eyes and I think positive thoughts I breathe goodness in and out so whatever kind of happy thoughts you want to it can be a different one every time Disney World cookies you know like whatever brings you joy sunshine oh my gosh I love that I'm gonna get lightheaded though if I breathe that fast so I'm gonna stop the reading here and I'll talk to you in May. Um, love you so much. Bye. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video, uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!